Okay, we're asked to evaluate cosecant of three pi over four, secant of five pi over three, and cotangent of seven pi over six. To do so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first draw in where these angles land in the correct quadrants, find the reference angles, and then use their reference angles to evaluate. Um, for cosecant, I'll actually evaluate sine, secant, cosine, and cotangent, I'll evaluate tangent. Then use their reciprocal identities to basically um, take the reciprocal of each one of those and find the ones that we're looking for. So to do this, I'm also going to assume that we understand these um, basic angles that we use a ton. So pi over six, pi over four, pi over three are the ones we're going to use with sine, cosine, and tangent. So maybe a table like this will be handy as we go through. So the first one we want to do is cosecant of three pi over four. So as you can see, we have our quadrantal angles already in there. Three-fourths of a pi is between half of a pi and a whole pi. So it's going to fit into the second quadrant. Next, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and draw in the reference angle is going to be always drawn from wherever the initial angle is to the x-axis. And for this one, I'm going to call this theta bar. So theta would be our 3 pi over 4. Goes around that far. And then um, theta bar, the reference angle, will go the rest of the way to the x-axis. So to calculate theta bar, on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take the further side of this angle, which will be pi minus three pi over four, which is equivalent to four pi over four minus three pi over four, which is just going to be pi over four. All right, this reference angle, what I'd like to do is I'm going to evaluate it into sine first. So as I plug this in, I'm going to plug in pi over 4 into sine and then figure out what that is based on our table up above. But I also need to be careful as I go through these that I get the correct sign as far as positive or negative. To do so, I'm always thinking all students take calculus. A nice mnemonic dev device that reminds us that an angle in the first quadrant, everything's going to be positive. In the second quadrant, the first letter tells us sine and cosecant are both going to be positive. Third quadrant, tangent, and fourth quadrant, um, cosine. So since ours is in the second quadrant, sine is going to be positive. And then referring back to our table, sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. To get the cosecant, of this exact same angle. Remember, it's the reciprocal of sine. So all we have to do here is we're going to take square root of 2 over 2, and we're going to switch numerator and denominator. We're going to take its reciprocal. And then finally, what we want to do to finish this up is probably rationalize the denominator by multiplying by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So we get 2 square root of 2 over the square root of 4, which is 2 which will reduce down and just be the square root of two. All right, let's do the same thing with the secant of five pi over three on this next one. So five pi over three, our initial angle, let me see, that's bigger than one whole pi because it's improper. Five pi over three is bigger than one and a half pi's. It's like one and two thirds. So it's gonna end up being down here in the fourth quadrant. So to go around this far is going to be 5 pi over 3. We're going to draw in our reference angle always goes to the x-axis. So in this case, I'm calling that theta bar. And to calculate theta bar, what we want to do is take the further of the, the two sides, 2 pi, and subtract away the shorter, 5 pi over 3. I'll kind of strategically write this as 6 pi over 3 minus 5 pi over 3 to get uh, pi over 3, 1 pi over 3 for theta bar, our reference angle. All right, once again, what we want to do is calculate cosine of this reference angle. Be careful about the sine on this. Again, um, be just happenstance, this one lands in the fourth quadrant and cosine is going to be positive in the fourth quadrant. And secant will also be positive in the fourth quadrant. 
All right, so we want to evaluate cosine of pi over three. Cosine of pi over three is one half. And then secant of five pi over three is going to be the reciprocal of this. So we can say that is two over one or reducing down, we get two. One more here, let's go with cotangent of seven pi over six. So first thing I'm gonna do is locate where is seven pi over six gonna land? Well, it's a little bit bigger than one, um, but it's not as big as one and a half. So it's gonna be out here into the third quadrant. So what wraps around this far, oops. Our angle of seven pi over six goes around this far. We always draw our reference angle into the x-axis. So that's where our theta bar sits here. This theta bar is going to be seven pi over six minus pi, which is seven pi over six minus six pi over six, which is pi over six. All right, next up, what we're going to do is cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent of pi over six. And just so happens that tangent is positive in the third quadrant where our initial angle landed. So it's gonna be positive here. Now, if that had been in the second or fourth quadrants, this should be a negative coming out. And to finish this up, let me see tangent of pi over six is gonna be the square root of three over three. So the cotangent of seven pi over six is just this reciprocal. So three over the square root of three. To rationalize, we'll multiply numerator and denominator both by square root of three. So we end up with three square root of threes over three, which reduces down to be the square root of three. All right, so hopefully we get down sine, cosine, and tangent really well, and that'll allow us to get um, cosecant, secant, and cotangent by using the reciprocals. Also be careful about getting these reference angles. They're always drawn to the x-axis. Um, so doing these calculations can be a little bit different depending on which quadrant the initial theta or the initial angle ends up in. Um, hope this helps. Be careful about those signs as you're doing these. With practice, you'll get them.